Um, a lot of people <clears throat> who criticize others don't acknowledge the fact that at least the other person was doing something other than criticizing. They were actually doing something. And they didn't ask for your approval. Like that wasn't required to get your approval for them to do it or to do it your way. Uh, when a reputable news organization makes a, um, a, a, provides a how-to video that is completely inaccurate and potentially dangerous, well, we expect better. We expect due diligence, and, and we expect uh, our journalists to know what they're writing about, to not just uh, make stuff up as though they're experts when they have no clue and have no proper uh, verification of information that they're relaying. So we will hold these professional media organizations to a higher standard. But when a guy is showing you how to, or a gal, when somebody is showing you voluntarily, you know, maybe from their kitchen, uh, they're sharing information with you, and maybe it's not the most polished uh, thing, um, you don't like it, it's not for you, man. But it's helping other people, and why would you get in the way of that? Like, um, it's, it's really something I'm, I'm, I've, I'm trying to find an answer to it. And, and there's only so much ignoring can do. And, and I just think the bottom line is, if you want to criticize anybody who's taken the effort to make a video, then criticize with a video of your own and demonstrate how it should have been done. And I will invite that to anybody who's critical of anything I do. Show me how to do it better. Teach me. Don't just bark at me. So, all right, and we're going to do that today. That's why we're going to say, you guys tell me what you think the problem is with this. Let's find out who's right, who's wrong. But I will tell you this. Every computer problem is fixable. Uh, if you guys have been watching this channel, I've been, when I started this channel about 10 or 12 years ago, I think it's been about 12 years now, uh, I don't know how many computers I fixed on video. Not every computer I fix is on video. I fix a lot of computers. Every computer has been fixed, and rarely have two computers ever been the same. Whether it's a laptop or a desktop, rarely do you see the same hardware ever. So when I struggle to figure out how to open a laptop, somebody might criticize me for not being properly prepared, but I have experience. Apparently, um, the fact that you see value in it and the fact that you are kind um, is uh, priceless to me. I want you to know that. And you guys are my main focus for people who say I focus on the trolls too much, if I focused on the trolls too much, I would have stopped making videos. I just want you to know that. And the reason why I talk about it so much is I want you to, uh, to, so I'm trying to share experience. I'm trying to educate, right? So not only am I trying to tell you about how to build and fix a computer, but I'm telling you about customer troubles. I'm telling you about getting paid problems or contractual issues. I'm telling you about different things customers ask me to do. And I also want to tell you about some of the downside of being on YouTube which is having complete strangers attack you and tell you how stupid you are. Which, by the way, I already know how stupid I am. You don't need to tell me how stupid I am. I already know. <laughs> People want to point out my flaws. I've been in this body my whole life. I'm pretty aware of my flaws. Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, it, it, it bothers me, and I want you to know that it's something that goes through my mind. Like, am I going to go through this today? But then I see all these friends in blue, and I see all these contributions, and I'm like, oh, it's so worth it. Okay? So I just want you to know that. Sincerely, it's worth it. Okay, Linda, you probably edited all that out, um, which means you're doing your job well. And well, the first thing we have to do when, we, when a customer brings us a computer is we have to verify the problem. We've got to recreate the problem. So this customer says, after the first reboot of a Windows install, the machine uh, restarts, a little circle goes around like five or six times, and then it just freezes. And I've already told you, new motherboard, new CPU, RAM has been swapped. One module was taken out. Not, not swapped with different RAM, but one module was removed. All the parts are the same parts that I use on the build, he followed it part for part. It's just the way he sourced the parts, I didn't, I didn't like that. He's got the optical drive, it's not even plugged in, it's not even part of the equation. 
The front port umbilicals are hooked up correctly. The USB is hooked up correctly. He's got the front case fan plugged in, which I would not have plugged in, but it doesn't matter. He doesn't have a GPU. We're using onboard video. He's got a EVGA 5 computer, like a Core 2 Duo or something was the last time he's got. I don't really care at this point. He's made an attempt to install Windows, and then right now the, the solid state drive has partitions on it, and we're going to erase all those partitions and start again, it's just like you see me do it. Of, since you can't get a USB drive, um, it's at like five right now. And since you can't get a USB drive, um, the next size up from four is eight. I'm pretty sure, last I checked, uh, Windows 10 is five gigs in size, but I, uh, maybe it's changed. Regardless, I don't think you can find a four gig flash drive if you wanted to, not a new one anyway. We'll hit next and we'll hit install now. And currently, and I've already told you, new motherboard, new CPU, RAM has been swapped. One module was taken out, not, not swapped with different RAM, but one module was removed. All the parts are the same parts that I use on the build. He followed it part for part. It's just the way he sourced the parts. I didn't, I didn't like that. He's got the optical drive. It's not even plugged in. It's not even part of the equation. The front port umbilicals are hooked up correctly. The USB is hooked up correctly. He's got the front case fan plugged in, which I would not have plugged in, but it doesn't matter. He doesn't have a GPU. We're using onboard video.